Hello, what is going on, chaps? Coco Pops here. Welcome back to the channel for more Black Ops 4 Zombies content. Rigor Between is a brand new, easier way to do the unlimited DJ5 Ragnarok glitch after the 1.17 patch. Now, this was found by myself and Unique Gaming Productions. His link will be down in the description. If you want to head over there and check him out, that would be much appreciated. If not, I'm going to delete your Black Ops 4 account and your Fortnite account, so head over and do that now before your account gets deleted. But apart from that, I'm just going to be showing you how to do the brand new Unlimited DG5 Ragnarok glitch along with the new God Mode glitch. And if you do this inside the spawn, with the both doors closed on classified, all the zombies are going to pile up in the one location where you can just stand up in the pile up spot with your Unlimited Ragnaroks. Now this can also be done on Blood of the Dead, which is not very very useful on Blood of the Dead right now because there's not very good pile up spots for this glitch because the, this glitch does take two players to do. It's not solo, that's the only downfall. But as you can see here, when you're on Blood of the Dead and you want to do this glitch, make sure when you kill the Warden, you never pick up the key. So that means every time you kill the Warden, is never going to pick up a special drop from him, he's always going to drop the key. So make sure you do that if you want to do this on Blood of the Dead without cancelling out the glitch. Now what you want to do is make your way up to the top of the gondola and keep all the doors closed. Now you want to edge off this little catwalk thing right here until you start hitting a death barrier. Make sure your Ragnaroks are at stage 3 and once you do start hitting the death barrier, you're going to hit the death barrier two times. Keep that in mind so once you find the death barrier, you want to hit it once, we're going to hit it twice. Now we're going to pull out our DG5 Ragnaroks and we're going to run over and place them on the ground and quickly make our way back over to the same location so you hit the death barrier again. So you're going to instantly die and you're going to spectate your friend. Now you've got to tell your friend to pass around and what you're going to do is spawn back in the next to get him round. Now what that is going to do is going to completely glitch out your meter bar just like the solo method before where you used to go down by your meal kick back and your special meter bar would be completely stuck. And as you can see here, every time I kill the zombies, I cannot fill up the special meter bar without getting a special drop. That's where you know you've timed that correct and what you have to do is simply get yourself the special drop from the zombies or you can drop a power keg if you have plenty of them but what we do is just get yourself a power drop from the zombies and what we're going to do here is we're going to pull out our specialist, cancel it off immediately, wait a split second and pull out our specialist again. So it's basically in this motion right here, one, two, three. So we're going to pull out our Ragnaroks, cancel it immediately, then pull them back out a split second later in this motion, one, two, three. Now keep practicing that method to get that method down and you will be sweet. Now we're going to be showing you how to do this on classified right now. What we're going to do is create a death barrier by having our friend go down in the spawn room while keeping all the doors closed. And we're going to use the Elixir nowhere but there to teleport out. Now if you are playing two players, what you're going to have to do is get your friend crawling over towards the window. You're going to run over and quickly revive them, then run back in towards the next door because there's going to be death barriers in this location right here. Now from here, regen your health and we're going to run up towards the lift and we're going to open up that barricade for the lift Then we're going to run back over towards the door just to regen our health because you do not have enough time to do this all in the one motion. So once we're back up towards the door, what we're going to do is regen our health one more time. Then we're going to run back over towards the lift and we're going to call the lift down to the second landing. So we're going to do that right now and as you can see we're going to hit one death barrier. We're going to hit two death barriers while we're in the left, and by the time you get down towards this spot right here, you're going to be sweet. There will be no more death barriers. Now, once you're down here, you want to blow yourself up with a grenade and have your friends teleport with the Alexa nowhere but there, so they can also get down in towards the second landing while keeping the spawn doors closed, and that's going to also create a death barrier every time you go up the lift, so keep that in mind. Now, from here, basically what you're going to have to do is fill up your specialist to stage 3. Now once you have filled up your special meter bar to stage 3, what we're going to do is make our way back up the lift so we can hit this death barrier we created at the start of the game. Now we're going to hit, take two hits from a death barrier and we're going to do the same again as pulling out a Ragnarok. So we're going to take two hits from a death barrier, this is the second hit, then we're going to pull out a Ragnarok. So now we're going to wait until our health gets down to 15% this time, then we're going to place a Ragnarok down on the ground. So as you can see we're getting to 15% now, place a Ragnarok on the ground, then we're going to die. Now we're going to be spectating our friend again, tell them to pass around and you're going to spawn back in the next again round. Now that's going to give you the insta-death barrier so every time you go down you cannot get revived from a friend, you're just going to completely die and wait to basically spectate until you come back in the next again round. Now also what this is going to do is completely glitch out your meter bar just like the blood of the dead where every time you try and kill zombies it's 
not going to fill up the special meter bar. You have to get yourself a special drop. So while doing this, this is going to basically get you to the first step of the god mode glitch, also glitching out your special meter bar. So once you do kill enough zombies and you do get a special drop drop in, just run over and pick it up and you're going to be ready for the next again step. Now you can do the unlimited specialist at this point here, but you, what you want to do is get inside the god mode over by the spawn area. So what we're going to do is basically blow ourselves up as we're going to jump inside this, the teleporter and that's going to be giving us the god mode. And as you can see here, we're going to be doing this inside the spawn room. And as you can see, both doors are closed, so this is going to make a deadly pile up for later on once everyone gets the god mode. Now make sure both your friends are inside the spawn room. You can go up towards any teleporter and you want to cook a grenade. It's going to pulse four times, and before it does the fourth pulse, you want to jump in towards the teleporter. And if you've done that correct, you're going to blow yourself up as you go in your teleporter, and your friends are going to be inside the spawn room. Keep that in mind, they have to be inside the spawn room. Then they're going to start the round, so you spawn back inside here. Now, the reason they're going to be inside the spawn room, because it's going to create one pile up for later on, and if you go back through the teleporter right now, it's going to completely glitch out the god mode, and it's not going to work. And as you can see, we're in god mode right now. Now, also we're doing that first step with the god mode, like doing the insta death barrier, we can glitch out our specialist here with the Ragnaroks. Well, pulling them out, cancelling them immediately, and pulling them back out again, so it's like one, two, three. And as you can see here, it's going to stick in your hand. Now, don't worry, if people are having troubles, I'm going to try and explain it a little bit better here, just in slow motion. So what you're going to be doing is pulling out your Ragnaroks and cancelling them off immediately, as soon as you see them coming on the screen. Now once you do cancel them off, I'm going to be waiting until my Ragnaroks come off the screen, then I'm going to be pulling them back out. So it's in this rhythm right here. One, two, three. One, two, three. Now like I said on the Blood of the Dead tutorial, just keep practicing this method before you even try to attempt a glitch. Because if you do, do time this wrong, I do see people complaining if the special meter bar starts filling back up when they kill zombies. So just try and get that rhythm down before you do this glitch. Now once everyone is in the god mode and they're over by in the spawn location, as you can see here there's going to be one spawn where all the zombies come over and stand it. You can just stand over here in the pile up spot and just basically be AFK going up the rounds. Now the good thing about this is when you come back out of the god mode, I'm pretty, not out of the god mode, out of the easter egg, I'm pretty sure you're going to be still in god mode, you're going to be inside the spawn room still, which is dope so you can make your way back over towards this location and keep going up higher than the 150. But apart from that, I'm just going to play the video through with some footage of Classified. This was found by myself, Unique Game Productions, like I said. Head, for, head over there, check his channel out before I delete your Black Ops 4 and your Fortnite account. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Enjoy. Bye bye. <laughs>